I debated which scripture to read today or whether or not to read this scripture because anytime that you're trying to give something up for 21 days, it gets difficult. And it, maybe you're giving up food and we've gone through times of prayer and fasting, but I just felt like I should read this Matthew 5, 6. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst, not for food, but blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be filled. The word blessed there literally means happy. Happy are those. In other words, if you want your life fulfillment, it's not because you're hungering and thirsting after natural things, after the things of this world, natural food or whatever it is. It's not that you're going after the things of this world, but blessed are those, happy are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, after right standing with God. Blessed are those who are going after God, pursuing God, running after God. And I love the end of this in the Beatitudes because these are promises, for they shall, not they might, not maybe, for they shall be filled. So God's promise is you come empty and you hunger after the right things and God says, I promise you, I will fill you. Today, if you'll run after him, if you'll chase after him, if you'll not let the things of this world distract you and pull you away, but you will go after God with everything that you've got and hunger and thirst after him, the promise is he's going to meet you and he's going to fill you. Father, right now we run after you. We pursue you. And Father, we realize the only way that we find true contentment in life is not through the things of this world, money, relationships, jobs, all these things will never truly satisfy. But happy, blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Father, thank you for filling us today with your fruit. Thank you for filling us today with your goodness. Thank you for filling us today with, with who you are. And I just pray that as we go after you, if we hunger and thirst for the right things, you're going to fill us with more of you. Thank you for your power, for your spirit that is with us, and give us the strength to continue to run after you with everything we've got. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.